I think that's my call to Santiago. Chile, that's my first stop. Never been there before. Cool part about this, on my way to Lima, where I'll stay for tonight. Um, then, to my, now I can say I've been to Chile. People here are fantastic. You get a good feel for a place when you get to the Yo, 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 Steve back here. Oh, we got the soccer in the background. Look at this big screen TV. I don't know if you can see that. I just wanted to show you this here. I mean, you mentioned Miss Jade Opie too, and I know you guys love your gyms out and about hotel store, but so super excited about that. Like I say, why not? This is this is random. This is about perceived out of comfort zone. It used to be out of comfort zone. I'm just lying in bed here. <sighs> the tough part of the trip. Now the real fun begins. What? I've travelled what? Probably around the 30,000k mark or something like that. Alright, this is super, super cool. I'm just going to be quiet for a second. Just take take that noise in. But anyway, if you keep going on, I'm going to enjoy this and take this in for 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll sit up, lay down, sit up, but so the process has begun and I'm pretty cruisy and relaxed right now. I don't really care because it's just all about flow and letting it happen. Anyway, I'm all spin around now. There you got the Perkham Quartz Diamond on there. Bigger version. All this stuff coming at you 100 mile an hour, which is from within, but this is all about into the body, being really super grounded, but connecting with nature, which is a big part about me, what I love. What I crazy. I was being a bit cheeky at the start and saying I haven't been bitten in that but as soon as the rain come and sort of flushed them out of the rainforest and everything, oh, my chest went really tight when I embodied that roll and then my leg went numb and stiff and everything and apparently um, that was what her father had so that's pretty cool stuff, it's pretty powerful stuff and then we roll that um, which is a powerful exercise then we have a break and then we're into the ayahuasca ceremony for tonight which is our second ceremony. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I tell you what, I'm bloody excited about this massage right now. Really, yeah. A full house. Hold on to so tight. The breath work, um, the body movement, uh, just amazing, amazing. I love that and stuff on the follow up. I'm definitely going to utilize more in my day to day life, especially with my morning routines. Now, a bit of a surprise today it was changed from a Tumor ceremony to an ayahuasca ceremony. Whether they meant that or not, they probably did, but <laughs> a bit of a different one, and I just wanted to share a little bit on how I'm feeling going into this. I'm going to do a deeper one on the whole ceremonies across the whole retreat, um, more to the end of the retreat. I'm just going to do one in the middle, but since this has come up, I'm like, well, let's see how this goes today. Because the other night, it was pretty bloody terrifying, but it's all for a good reason. Today, I'm going to have a lot less. Like I say, ayahuasca ceremony. The ceremonies are fantastic. Um, I couldn't hold it together the other night, but the first one was amazing. And the other one actually had a lot. A lot of a lot of good moments in it. But this one today, the daytime, wearing all white. I wasn't gonna wear my white shirt again, got my Herkimer Diamond Crystal on there. Um, feeling feeling good today, bloody hungry. <laughs> Definitely hungry, I had an amazing meal last night, but no food leading into this. Like I say, full vegetarian diet. Got a cheeky little fish meal the other day, it was a little fish, but still um, that was cool, but not much energy. Breathwork this morning had heaps of energy coming through at the end, that's the purpose of it. So you can get energy from the earth, from the elements, instead of like stuff from the outside. of ayahuasca, and that really tidied a lot of stuff. I said I came here looking for answers, but I already have the answers and it was just a matter of them being highlighted to me. And far out I have writer's cramp from going nuts in my journal setting up a few few things that I'm going to be absolutely unloading when I go back. Um, stuff that I've been holding back on, stuff that I've been procrastinating on and making excuses not to do. 
um, because I didn't have the clarity around how to go about it, but not just how, but the purpose of it, or if they were really, truly what I wanted to do. And holy shit, when I thought it was going to be a cruisy day on the Wachuma, I had the same amount as the first time, and it blew my mind, like, far out, I was up to all hours visions and thoughts and battling darkness and it really really took me deep yesterday nothing like the first time and gave me a few more answers really like and everything everything is within all this stuff isn't made up it's not from external it's all in here it comes from here just this thing gets in the way it's been a big learning in mind got me in here how much scatter goes on in my head letting events or other people affect me, getting stuck in the effect. Even though I've done a lot of personal work and growth, it still it still can happen, it's ongoing. It's just brought so much awareness to things that I have to do to make it work. I know I wrote in my book one day when I was going nuts, it's like the key. Everything's the key. There's certain things I've just been procrastinating on or holding off on because I haven't had the self-belief. I just gotta do no matter what comes of it, but here's the big thing of all. Big thing of all that I'm gonna put into place. I'm gonna take action, yes. I take a lot of action anyway, but usually it's like a doo -doo 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 when I don't get the results that I really want, I don't. But taking action from a place of knowing that I'm gonna get the result, knowing that I already have it, it's just gonna change the way I take action. It's just gonna change the way I go about things. I mean, knowing is just, been super present too, super present in what I'm doing and in the moment. Something that I've got massively out of this bit of quick testing. Over here in Peru, it's been 10, 11 crazy, crazy days going through 